What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with Beginner Guitar Tutorial for Stargazing by Travis Scott. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments below what other songs from the new Travis Scott album that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing you need to know to play Stargazing on guitar is that we're going to have a capo on third fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'll have a link to get this one for free right up here. The next thing you need to know to play Stargazing is the four chords we need to play this song. The first one is E minor. The next one is C. The next one is A minor, and the last one is D. I'll have chord charts for all of those in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. So guys, this is just a really, really simplified, simple, simple version of what you can do on guitar with this. And there's a lot you can kind of add to this, like some chucking and stuff like that. You can play it in a little bit of an alternate tuning to get those real low, deep bass notes. There's all kinds of little things you can do, but this can kind of be the groundwork of what you're going to do just with your chords and strum pattern. And then whatever you want to add up on top of that to spice it up a little bit. We'll just add a lot and just be make it a fun jam song. So our chord progression is going to be E minor, C, A minor, and D in that order for the whole entire song. And we're just going to have one simple strum pattern that's going to repeat through the whole entire song. Now, what that strum pattern is, is it's just going to be two down strums per chord. The only little bit weird thing about that is we're going to space it out a little differently depending on which chord we're on. So for our E minor and our A minor, both of our minor chords, that's our first chord and our third chord, we're going to go down and then a little bit of a pause and then down. So it'll be kind of like a little spaced out like that. And then we're going to go to C and D. And for the C and D, we're still going to have two down strums, but they're going to be a little quicker. It'll be more like, kind of like that. So kind of walking through that really slow looks something like this. It's kind of, that's what the spacing is. And that's pretty much what that is for almost the whole entire song. It's just going to repeat that over and over and over again. It's just that really simple four chord progression with that really simple strum pattern. Like I said, there's some cool things you can add to this if you want to get really kind of creative and unique and personalize it with like, you know, different kinds of chucking. Maybe you do a little bit of picking in there would be cool. Um, just different things. But this song, the chord structure of it, that's just the real basic kind of what it sounds like in the song to match up with this chord wise. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna play through that a couple times full speed so you can see what it looks like and match it up with the song. And yeah, here that is. <laughs> And guys, that is everything that you need to know to play Stargazing on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 535 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel. And I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there cannot be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see a short daily preview of what song I'm teaching before I actually teach it, you can hit up my Instagram at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description. Guys, I've only heard a tiny bit of the new Travis Scott album. I really like this one and I really like sicko mode so far and I'm kind of listening to more as the day and the weekend kind of progresses. So be sure to let me know what other songs from this album that you would like to learn on guitar. This is one of those cool albums where I think that there's going to be a lot of songs that can be adapted to guitar. This is, you know, it's obviously kind of a rap type of album and usually you don't think to play those songs on guitar, but a lot of these would be really fun to make guitar versions of like this one. So I'm all about that kind of stuff. I know you guys enjoy that too. So let me know what other songs on this album that you think would be good guitar songs. This is a really fun song to play, really simple little strum pattern, really simple little chord progression, but a lot of fun. So hope you guys have as much fun playing this as I did. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all soon.